Hello, I'm Ray Brooksby with Grass Valley. I'm a product marketing manager. We're here today to talk about the new T2, Intelligent Digital Disc Recorder, or IDDR. Grass Valley's new T2 IDDR brings a tremendous set of new features that we think will be very helpful for you in your television, live production, and post-production requirements. So let's take a moment and go through some of the features of this unit. If we start with the front panel, you can see an immediate difference. This large 7-inch touchscreen is both used for video preview and as a user interface. The shuttle jog controller is ready to go at any moment. Grab it, twist it, and it's a shuttle jog controller. We've got standard play, pause, rewind, fast-forward controls to the front below the, below the display, and channel select. Select the record channel 1, play channel 1, or play channel 2 on the front as well. All very convenient and easy to, to reach. You'll also see a section here for, for input and output, I.O. We've got USB, FireWire, DVD, and a drive bay for a two and a half inch uh, removable drive, all for bringing content in or out of the T2. Looking closely at the back, you'll see here in our video input and output section support for SDI, both high definition and standard definition with embedded audio. We have DVI connectors. We can take computer resolution or television resolution inputs and outputs through DVI. Composite video is provided. Of course, it's standard definition only. We have an LTC or linear time code connection on each channel, as well as an AES BEU digital audio input on each channel to cover those cases where the video signal might not have embedded audio. We have analog audio input and output. Again, to cover those cases where audio might not be digital or embedded. Looking further, you'll see that we have GPIO and remote control connections. Here we have a black burst reference connection. We have GPIO uh, contact closure, so you can use uh, T2 to trigger external events, or you can have external events trigger the T2. We have a FireWire connection, IEEE uh, 1394 connection, for connecting a remote media, a remote drive. The monitor input is simply an external audio monitor connection. You'll also see we have three RS-422 connections. These support BVW standard deck control, one for each channel, one for the record channel and one each for each player channel. And finally, a full complement of traditional remote media or external media connections, USB, FireWire, and you'll also notice a couple of network connections. Another real advantage of T2 is the ability to control the deck either from a keyboard monitor and mouse remotely or by using the, the panel uh, control on the front of the unit. You can't use both simultaneously, it's one or the other. So I'm going to switch to front panel control and show you how we do some things there. There's a key where it asks, do you really want to go to front panel control? And I'm going to say yes. And doing so activates front panel control. I'm in a three channel mode view here. Record channel one, player channel one, player channel two. To record a clip couldn't be easier. We've, as you see, we already have video coming into the front panel, uh, into record, I'm sorry, into the back panel, into record channel one, and you can see it's just a shot of me here in the room from one of our cameras. And to record, I simply hit record and the recording begins. I can let that run until the unit is full or until I've reached a, a stop point on my recording and then I can just hit stop. I get a flashing red indication that I am recording in process. While it's recording, my other channels are still available to me. I can go to the bin and load up content uh, to, to play in either of those channels while the uh, recorder's in process. So I've loaded content and it's ready to play. I'm going to stop this recording and my record indication my record indication turns green, indicating that the channel is now ready and available for recording again. As easy as it